So basically guys, I missed my first flight and I tried to do the second one last minute. So we're going to be leaving the airport at 10. Um, I'm going to chat with you guys as soon as I get to my gate. So my previous gate was at B31 and now my gate's at 26. So now we gotta hop on back on the train and go to other two gates. And then I'll chop it up with you and tell you why I missed my first flight. I missed my previous flight mainly because your girl forgot her bag. So I was going through TSA, right? I have my I have my handbag and I had like my carry-on bag. But your girl was rushing and I rushed out and left my carry-on bag and have my handbag. I got you to get on time. Look around. I'm like, why do I feel so light? Come to find out. I left my whole bag at TSA gate, so I had to go back to TSA. The, when we reach at econ course, the train you take underground decided to like take forever to close to move off. We reached TSA, they couldn't find my bag at first, but then um, I realized I went through the other line, so I went over and found my bag, came back. I came back right when they closed that door. Like I looked at the plane, and I was like, you know what, I was going to get upset, but I decided, like, you know, things happen for a reason. I'm not going to really be bugged out about it. I rebook a whole different flight. I missed my previous flight, but it's fine. But while I'm here, this is my nails. This is my nails right here. Get in the sun. Yeah, I'm just chilling. But I'll probably go grab something to eat, even though to you come first, we don't have much. But I think I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna take some pictures and record myself while doing it. A bad picture. I'm and a motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. Yeah. She can't, she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> Okay, I used to be down bad, but now I'm rich, okay. 
do not disturb, bitch, I'm with my nigga Okay, I style name, say in it's from my nigga Bitch, say she pregnant, it ain't from my nigga nah. I don't pay for shit, it's all on my nigga Bitch, Maserati mommy, in the roof missing She ate crab legs, now a whole tooth missing Cheap ass for nils, you stay talking shit Put a marker to this bitch, she so counterfeit I'm the baddie in the CEO Okay. So guys, we are finally in Texas. We are waiting on my rise. Ten minutes away. I'm here to get a tattoo. I just fly to Texas to get a tattoo. Well, I fly to Texas to get a tattoo. Cause I'm that bitch. Period. But yeah, I'm just chilling here, relaxing, just vibing, thinking about life. But yeah, other than that, we're just gonna be chilling and listening to music. Go that. Houston need to do better. Look at the floor. That is. That is so, what's up, guys? We're from Houston. Um, but yeah, I was calling my best friend. She not picking up. So I got my glasses. I didn't wear makeup today because I feel like makeup was not needed. I got my Steve Mac shades, which I love. Your girl is about to Google some. What's it called? Some tattoo shots because I want to go get a tattoo, y'all. I want to go get a tattoo. Uh, tattoo shop near me. This one's closed. So we got, I think I'm gonna check out this one because it's closer. And then this is my second shop. So I'm gonna breeze through it and see which one I like more. Okay guys, so I'm in the tattoo shop and we finally figure out what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna let you guys see the finished product when you're done. And hopefully it comes out how we all vision it. They tell me stuff that I didn't even know about Houston. Because, you know, I don't know. I guess it's because I live here, I'm not that interested in like, finding out more stuff about it or what to do. I mostly go out and like travel. That's why I'm here and not in Atlanta. Is it living cheaper over here? Yes. Is it living cheaper? Than Atlanta? I don't know about than Atlanta, but I know it's pretty cheap over here. How much is a one bag? Like a really nice place or like a okay? Like okay to nice, like the rich. So like a shitty place, or not a shitty place, but like the cheapest I found 
is like 500 for a one bedroom. Oh, damn. Okay. That's what okay. I was, you, that's you what, Yeah, that's an apartment I was staying in. It was okay. Um, and then the most, like, the nice one, you could probably get like 1200. See, that's the opposite. In Atlanta, the shitty one is like 12, 13. The nice ones are like 16 to 17, 18. Oh. Run up to 2000. Yeah, 12,000 would be And that's a, a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. No, studio to one bedroom. Let me fix that. Yeah. I really hope I get a transfer. I take edibles, I don't smoke. I can't smoke into my family a lot. I've had like bad experiences What? So when, well I think this was like a fucking Delta, you know what Delta 8 is right? Uh -uh. Um, okay it's like fake weed pretty much. Not necessarily <laughs> fake weed, I guess that's like a bad way of describing it. It's more like weed, it's like CBD I guess okay. in a way. In my opinion. Is it like brain high or body high? It's more like body high, okay. not like brain high or anything. Or it's more like a chemical high thing. So, but, um, my friend had some edibles, I took one, I remember specifically, I you took- You took the whole one. gummy? Yeah, it was a gummy. And How I, strong was like 5,000 milligrams? He didn't know, he found them, and he, he had took some, so he was like already high, so we were like, you know, let's get high or whatever, so we ate them, and then, dude, I was high for two days. And I woke up the next morning and I was like still really high and I, I thought that that's just how I was going to be the rest of my life. I was like, man, I'm going to be high all the time. I couldn't open my eyes, man. It was horrible. It was the most scary thing. Ever since then, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to do this. It was more like a sick high. Okay. Were you praying like, God, please, like, get me through this. I'll never do edibles again. Yeah, I was like, man, I don't want to do this shit no more, man. I don't want, I don't want to ever do edibles. If you take this away from me, I'll never do this again. I have people like literally watch like every move I make. Does that like, make you nervous when you come to the It doesn't make me nervous, it's more like... I don't know how to describe it. Like I don't mind you looking over like occasionally, but like for you to just sit there and like watch every single thing I'm doing, like the whole tattoo, it kind of does bother me. Like you can look at it, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't look at it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys, so I just finished my tattoo with the sun and the bird. Looking really nice. Can't wait to get ripped so I can flex my muscles right there. Uh, 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 um. Do you want to say hey to the camera? Hey camera. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Well, this is my tattoo artist. Um, what's your name? I'm Devin. Devin. I'm oh, sorry. Um, this is Devin, guys. He did this tattoo, and he's in Houston. He's really shy, so if you come here, he's not being rude. That's just how he is, okay? That's just how I am. Everybody thinks that I'm an asshole. He took it real good, except for when we got up here, it kind of started hurting a little bit more. I know. I have to restrain myself but, from slapping you. But you, you're straight yourself <laughs> from slapping. <you. laughs> Thank you for restraining yourself. <laughs> You're welcome. So, guys, I'm just going to wait on my ride and then we just go. I don't know what we're doing after. To the next spot. To the next spot, exactly. Okay, guys, so we're going to be cooking today with your chef, girl Kimmy. I believe that all of your dreams are directions You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience You took my heart, I'm a sleep for decoration You stick in my love, I'll pop for you So, what's up? Ooh, I'll do feel, I don't like that I need a little darker I like my melanin showing Okay, there we go So, 
Yo, what's up guys? We are back in Atlanta. I got my tattoo done. I literally just fly to Houston to get my sleeve tattoo taken care of. It's coming together. Wait till I get the fade in and the coloring. I don't know where I'm gonna go for that. I probably fly to another state or another country. You will not know. I'll keep it a surprise for you guys. But if you make it this far in my video, I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, you know, <sighs> it was a day. It was hurting, but girl gonna go to gym and flex these muscles so the tats can show okay the tats can show so guys um i'm about to go inside i don't know if i show you my nails this is my nails but i'm about to go inside take a shower get ready for gym and then go out later so guys it's the end of my travel vlog i might do a vlog later for content wise get ready with me for Eight night, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know, your girl's gonna dress up. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and click that bell so you can be annoyed when I post more videos. Um, it's your girl, Kim and Claire. Same, so it'll be.